Welcome or welcome back. Today I'll be the judge and I'm looking forward to this performance. Today's performance is from Flanagan 2006 show title Crash. They always come with some, well, so far, so far they've came with some, you know, very deep and emotional and very impactful things. So we're gonna keep our eyes open and our ears open and probably be a little bit more serious. But what I'm not going to be serious about is you, your thumb crashing your way to that subscribe button. Ooh, go ahead and hit that for me. And that's all you gotta do for now. I will go ahead and hop right into this performance. Performing their program, Crash. Is the guard ready? Flanagan High School, you may take the floor for competition. <laughs> yes, girls, good fake cry. Fake cry, I love it. <laughs> Remember now, some high schoolers. What? Ooh. I'm trying to make sure I don't talk over the thing. Oh, cool. I'm say blue is representing like emotions. What's it have on their leg? This is really nice. It sounds like he said. I'm wanting to feel something again, so. And you see all these words, I will heal you, I will not judge you. So this is about connection to other humans. Or maybe a love, but. Uh, it's just protect, cherish, they all have different things. It could be a mother to child, or like parent to child. Nice, y'all. Uh, you know, like when you're so desperate for a, a connection that you will literally Okay, it might not be Yora. She said, why do you keep yourself at a distance? Are you scared that you're gonna start to feel something and panic? At some point, you don't know how to act if you've been alone for so long and you try to avoid all the things or all the feelings, all the emotions. When you do come together with somebody, it's like, it's good or bad, you know? If it's the best thing you ever had, I like the way they, they released that, like their arms were down, if I wasn't mistaken. It's like crashing into somebody with all the emotions and baggage and trauma and... Mm-hmm. Did she say I'm angry? Mm -hmm. But I was still mad. Ooh. And I realized, I realized, I wake up like this every morning. Oh. I'm angry all the time, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, but you hear we done switched up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Look at that close catch. I like the way they're releasing and catching things different than normal, you know? They'll say catch out here. They let it go kids right here closed in. You know? They're gonna release, but they're gonna keep their arms down. That's like a defense defense mechanism when you're when you have a lot of emotions that you don't know how to deal with. You try to shut people off. You're mad, you don't know why. Ooh, yeah, okay. So it's about like internal emotions. And there's other people that are like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll help you, I'll heal you, I won't judge you, blah, blah, blah. I mean, how much can you really, uh, 
gotta trust people for real. You know, you gotta find somebody you can confide in. Okay, love that, love that, love that. That was like a, that was some dark moments for sure. Feeling is different between sad and anger. But sadness can cause you to be angry. It can be, lead to it. I'm sorry, I can I am. Ooh, so we have these white flags now. Or light colored flags. I'm trying to hear. But it's like when you've been like kind of like avoidant or you know hiding your emotions and you're just trying to keep it to yourself so much. And sometimes when you do interact with somebody who's really coming to help you, you might kind of explode at them and they didn't really deserve it. It's like what? And if it's two people who've kind of been used to not regulating their emotions and they come together it, it, it's not as healthy of a bond it could be kind of like a trauma bond type of thing or you know i'm lashing out you're lashing out but it's really hurt from the past or i just don't know how to express myself and you know having to stay stick through the hard times and like i could still be the light for you or you know you can still trust me you can still express yourself and be angry and yell at me and i'm still gonna be here i mean of course you know to the best of your extent don't be accepting stuff that Oh, that you don't deserve. Okay, now this is, do you feel anything at all? Interesting. Maybe it's better to feel than not feel. You know, it's better to have all the emotions than to, to, to lock them away. Because the more you bear them down, that can cause a lot of stuff. Depression and... From Pembroke Pines, Florida, under the direction even if you believe it or not just yeah, medical things that can come about in your body but i ain't gonna talk about all that <laughs> um so yeah wow i mean there was a lot of things to think about i might be going down the wrong path but anything everything i said i think is still valid um and as far as life goes but <sighs> you don't want to crash into nobody you know <laughs> i think you want to gently walk up to them and meet them and greet them um so if you feel like maybe you don't have anywhere to express yourself or if you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to or if you know somebody who feel, you feel like I don't know what I'm trying to say I want to say I'm trying to give y'all like a hotline but I don't have one in my head um just if you feel like you have nobody in your real life using things like online forums or you can be maybe anonymous where you can just write out your problems or just get it down on paper you can even do some journaling you can use my comment section um if you want to just i don't know just say maybe things you've been going through i'll be there of course to listen and help you out because i don't want anybody crashing into anybody but it is better to feel than to ignore your feelings so i'm gonna leave that right there um Great suggestion, Flanagan High School, 2006. I'll see y'all in the next video.